little big history of Tumpa. Matsu, you know Tumpa? Welcome to Crash Course Little Big History, a knockoff of Crash Course Big History. Today we will be focusing on my friend the Timfa. It is an Okinawan wooden weapon used for self-defense and other, well, you'll see. Let's get into it. In today's episode, we will be talking Interrupt your usual programming for... Now, enough time wasted on my terrible interruptions. Let's get started. I'm gonna warm you guys up like martial artists. So get on your feet. Yes, I mean all of you. This is my interactive, so get up. Guys, I totally forgot. Okay, so if you're gonna warm up like a martial artist, you gotta act like one. So basically, when somebody in the dojo says to you, to do anything or they tell you anything your response will be height which means yes height spelled h-a-i-t height so when i say stand up guys you guys will respond height so now that you're up let's do some jumping jacks 20 okay also i'll give you a funny face to pause on because we're pausing the video till all of you are done I hope you're not tired, cause find a partner, 10 push-ups, 25 sit-ups. Pause on this funny face too. Now don't get me wrong, if you can't do it perfectly, that's totally fine. As long as you're trying your best. Quality over quantity, right? Yeah. Now you guys are extra lucky today. You're getting a full lesson. Thought you were gonna get off easy doing just push-ups and sit-ups. Okay, do and be stand up tall. Kamai is make a stance. And we're gonna start in Kamai. You're gonna rotate your hip and you're gonna throw a reverse punch. Aim it towards the center of your body and then down a little bit. So, one, two, three. Good job, Jumbi. So, I've decided to teach you a kick. Kicks are my favorite. We're gonna do the roundhouse kick. So go to Kamai, except this time sideways. You are going to bring your feet together, bring your knee up, kick, bring it back. So really slowly, it'll look like this. The last technique you're learning today is a block. We're gonna do the upper block. So you're in Jumbi, you bring your hand under your armpit, 
And as you're stepping forward into Kamai, block and expand. Bring your elbow all the way towards your back and fist up. So when you do it, easy enough. Okay guys, next I'm gonna teach you the double backflip. Let's get started. Oh, gotta take this. Hello? Hey. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to you later. That was my conscience telling me that we spent way too much time learning techniques. Let's get to the history part. Hey guys, okay. Big bang, let's keep this short and sweet. Started everything, connects to everything. Just the beginning of the universe. No, no big deal. No, no impact on anything. The universe begun 13.8 billion years ago at the big bang. Okay, so big bang over. Fasting forward to earth. So that's earth. There's a tree and trees are made of wood. Tumfa is also made of wood. These wooden tumpa can also connect to early life on Earth. In Okinawa, when this samurai came, they didn't let the people use any weapons or know any martial arts. So, in a way to hide and protect themselves, they hid their weapons as normal objects. This they would insert into something and they would use it to grind like wheat. They would also disgu disguise kata as dance. So, there's a fun fact for you. Kobodo, or weaponry, like anything else in the world, evolves with time. So, who knows what the future holds? How about this work? Oh, uh. Well, I guess our time's up. See you guys later. Bye! G-R-A-C-E, subscribe!